all steel buildings the same? To the average consumer, a steel building may appear to be a cookie cutter product, and there's really no difference in quality or design from company to company. You can't go wrong. As long as the building provides you with enough space and it's made of steel, it's going to last, right? Well, let's take a look at some things you may have overlooked. The primary framing is sort of like the backbone of your steel building. This is where economy buildings show their true colors down the road, but we'll get back to that later. The secondary framing includes things like girts, purlins, and eave struts. These may seem like minor details, but they reinforce the backbone of the building. These commonly overlooked secondary details are an easy place for inferior materials to hide and an easy area for companies to cut costs. Finally, you may have a quote that says the wall panels are 29 gauge steel. It sounds stronger than 26 and it's just a wall panel, right? It's actually just the opposite. 26 is stronger than 29 and if you happen to lose a wall panel during a storm, your steel building will turn into a really expensive tumbleweed. Speaking of storms, Will your lower cost economy building's primary framing hold up if you live in Tornado Alley, a hurricane zone, or even an area with heavy snow? The fact is, even an average thunderstorm can cause damage. Ask these building owners if they're happy their building supplier took a few shortcuts. Not to mention seismically active regions and recent storms like Hurricane Katrina, Sandy, and the tornadoes that have been ripping through the Midwest lately. There's only one General Steel and thousands of families and companies like GE, Disney, NASA, and Boeing have trusted the General to protect their investments for over two decades. Even the White House has used General Steel not once, but twice. This is because the General Steel brand stands for quality, and with the proper attention to codes and loads up front, your building has been designed to last for generations. Build with peace of mind, because after the contractor is done and gone, your building is protecting your valuables, your business, or maybe families and children of your community. Don't cut corners on the building that could be your legacy. Everything was just demolished and there was nowhere to go and the Army wasn't here yet, FEMA wasn't here yet, but General Steele's building was. It was rated for 88 mile per hour winds. Our town took 125 mile an hour winds sustained for eight hours. And she didn't lose anything. She hasn't even got a dent. She's perfect. She did her job. I was amazed. I actually didn't believe that it would be there. General Steele saved my family's livelihood. <laughs>